Do you know that you can actually recreate your skin problems unconsciously? Is it ever gonna end? Welcome back to my channel guys and in today's video I just want to talk about this topic how you can actually recreate your skin problems without even knowing it and that's because I've already made some videos about mindset and skin problems and also what happens after you solve them and so there's something going on in your mind and I'll put the link of those videos down below but today I just want to give you my uh, example my own uh, experience about this so this week is gonna be a bit about story time yay so yeah let's get into it so this happened more or less a year ago it was Christmas 2015 and I decided to go back home uh, to see my family in uh, Italy and at that point I hadn't seen my family for 15 months or so and I had been a vegan for uh, a bit more than a year uh, but mainly it was the very first time I went back home uh, as a vegan after I changed my diet and after I actually solved my skin problems uh, permanently so that was the very first time so as you can imagine I was so excited I couldn't wait to go back on home on the bloody plane and say yes I want to see my family you know all my friends and now I actually want to enjoy uh, the Christmas period uh, with my loved ones you know have fun and don't think about anything not uh, all these problems what can affect me in any way uh, what clothes I'm gonna wear blah 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 all the bloody things going on that was going on into my mind before so I was really excited I was like yes ready and you know I went back home and at first everything was fine I was so excited and uh, I didn't have anything I mean I wasn't even thinking about skin problem because I was like yes I saw this one now yep that's done you know I know how to do it blah 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 that's done but a few days, I think it was a week after I arrived home, I started to have an irritation in my eyes. So just to let you know, I didn't, I mean, during that period, I didn't have like skin problems like brushes or flares ups or anything like that. I could sleep and all the stuff, yes. But still something was going on. And in that case for me was having an irritation in my eyes. So at first I was like, oh, maybe it's just an irritation or an infection or something. So I went to the pharmacy, I bought a colirium and, you know, and at first it was all right, my eyes were okay. But as days went by, you know, they started to be really itchy, you know, I couldn't actually open them uh, in the morning when I uh, woke up and it started to become really annoying. So I was like, Whoa, okay, why, what is, what is happening? I was like, I don't know, maybe it's just because, you know, I wasn't thinking about anything uh, serious. I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just, you know, it just came out now, I don't know. And uh, uh, I wasn't too fussy about that. But on New Year's Eve, when I was with my friends, my eyes were horrible. They were like, I look like a panda with just red eyes instead of black. My skin was really dry in this area, uh, they were really itchy, uh, I had to put colirium in like every like five minutes, it was so annoying to the point that I didn't enjoy my nap with them just because I was working on this thing and also to the point that the next day on the 1st of January I had to go to the hospital because the situation was like really bad and I could not stand it anymore. So <coughs> that made me think a lot because I was like what the hell every time I go back home I have some kind of problem and before it was skin problems and now I'm like I'm having this thing how is that possible is it that it's a, co a coincidence and I was like I don't think so and just to give you a picture to uh, let you understand better what I'm talking about uh, I grew up in that house in that environment with those people when I had the most painful years of my life because of this my uh, eczema my uh, dermatitis and that's why in my mind since I had these problems for so many years it was a very really, really long time in my mind what I created was that this house this bedroom my bedroom you know this environment equals skin problems equals me not feeling well you know having physical pain emotional pain and all the nice stuff and that's why when i went back home that belief was still there 
even if I saw my skin problems, because when I saw my skin problems, I wasn't home, I was somewhere else. So in my mind, I was like, basically uh, matching the two things. Home equals me being sick. And that's why when I went back home, the belief was still there and I recreated everything by myself. Just because I wasn't aware of it. So, and that's why I started thinking, I was like, when I went back home, because then when I came back here, you know, all, you know, all my eyes uh, went better, you know, they, they became normal again. But I started thinking, why is that? That's not possible. I mean, I don't want to go home every time and recreate the thing. And then I started thinking, wow, that, that, that was me recreating it just because I was associating the two things. Everything, it was, you know, the environment, like the vibes, I was just recreating it by myself. And that's why it's really important that, you know, you become aware of this kind of situation. Is it something that kind of triggers your skin problems in an unconscious way? Because I, I know that my main problem is about uh, the food I was eating before. It was animal products, especially dairy. Oh God, I just hate them. And, but, you know, it's, that, that's the biggest part. And as I said, when I was back home last year, I didn't have like any flares up or anything. It was just my eyes. But then you also have to be aware that you can recreate the problem in your mind and that can come out in a different way. In my case was, as I said, you know, just this eye irritation. But, you know, for you it might be something different. I don't know. But this is just, you know, that it's really, really important because if you've suffered for skin problems for such a long time, you know, it is something that it not only affects your body, your skin condition, but also, unfortunately, what goes here in the mind, in the brain. So I just wanted to share my experience with you uh, because, you know, in my experience, these two things are the main causes. First, first of all, is the food. As I said, it's the diet, what you eat. And, you know, you should go on to a vegan or even better, a raw vegan diet to solve your skin issues. But the second one is also what goes on into your brain. Don't recreate your problem uh, without even knowing it. You have to be aware of it. And once you are aware, then you can, you know, overcome the obstacle and stay okay as well. I went back home for summer and to be honest, I know I didn't have any problems. So because now I know I'm aware that I'm recreating it. So I'm like, no, Elena, just, you know this is fine now you solve the problem uh, this is uh, your uh, family this is the place where you grew up and uh, you know it's fine just you know uh, you're not gonna recreate it but this is just like you know that this these two things are really really important so if you go after solving your skin problems first is your diet second must be changing your uh, mind your beliefs in uh, your beliefs about skin problems because as I said in my previous videos which you can watch of course uh, is that you create this barrier when you have skin problems which is a filter to reality which is not real but um, yes so this is the video of the week guys I hope you enjoy let me know if you liked it give me a comment you know uh, a like I would say as well and you know subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week with a new video ciao